got to work and get it to come back down around this side to about halfway because then I want this one to go from here and come back about halfway as well. So we'll get some solution here. I'm going to try pull that away from there so it's not touching that there and I'm going to try to get some of this detail here to come back down and wrap back around there okay electrodes in place power back on there's 20% 25% We're getting the growth where we want, but notice we're still getting some creeping down along this way. This is advancing much faster, so that's good. I'll take the power up a little more, deepen that out a little bit. It's drying out. I need to reapply some solution, but I'll see if we can't get a little. There's 100%. No, we've pretty much dried it all out. We're done. So power off. And get some solution in here. Like so. Okay, electrodes are in place. Let me let this down just a bit there. Power on. There's about 20%. And we're talking in the neighborhood of 2,000 volts, 2,500 volts. Gonna watch and make sure that this front branch doesn't take off on us real quick. Okay. Power off. Soak this, make sure that that pad is soaked, and then move down here into this trace here, and we'll move our electrode down to try to encourage it to come this way for us. Get that back up against there. Okay, power on. Ten, twenty, twenty-five. That's very dry. It's going down, and that's the edge of the pattern. I don't want to go any further down that side. So now, what I need to do is I need to get this pad rolled even further down to try to stop that one from taking off on us and going beyond where I would like it to go. But yet bring this one on around. Okay, we'll get some solution in place. we're trying to encourage to grow right there so we'll power that up there it goes if it would make a branch and start whoop, I'm getting a little trace I'm going to have to move that pad the power's off this pad's going to have to be totally pulled away from there to get, keep this one from growing down. And we'll let this even further over here to get, hopefully get a little traction coming that direction. 
power on. 20, 25 percent. Oh, perfect. Exactly what I wanted. That'll burn down about to the line. There, it's at the line. It's off. I'm almost fully to where I want to be. So I'm going to try to get this trace here. And it'll likely try to back up and come around. But I'm going to wet this down really good. Right here. And see if we can't get that to come around just a little bit further. Power coming up. There we go. Perfect. And that should hopefully intertwine. I want that to go all the way down like it's going all the way down to the edge. And there it is, down to the pattern. So that is essentially one fourth with a little bit of work on that one. Uh, of the area that I'm looking to put the pattern in. Okay, now if you'll notice, there's a couple things. First of all, first of all, we've turned the forend around to finish up the other half of the front, half of the forend, but you'll notice some staining. Uh, that's the original color of the wood and that's the color after the baking soda and water is applied and that staining just occurs there's nothing we can do to avoid it uh, however we can use some oxalic acid and bleach it out back to its normal color or close to that color uh, when we finish the pattern completely up and before we start finishing the wood so I have wet the patch down here I have an electrode and an old trace up there and we're going to try to bring this pattern down to the area that we want which we want to stop about right on that line right there we want to bring these branches and propagate them down and this one back so power is on we're about 20 percent Coming up, there's 50. Not worked over here for a bit, so there may not be quite enough. Well, we're gonna have to re-wet. That thing, I think I saw a little spark. down here and I don't want it down there so I'm going to change that up make sure that electrode's in there okay get a little water into that trace for it I'd like to have just a little bit propagate off in that direction okay power is on power up Seventy-five, ninety. I'm seeing smoke. I'm not seeing any travel yet. We'll let it sit there. There we go. Now we're starting to pick up some movement. Just let it sit there and burn for just a minute. It's awfully dry though. Gets out of control and off. That almost went out of bounds, but did not, thank goodness. And we'll move this over here and wet this area here. Push that up against there. Okay, here we go. Nice. 
That's what we were looking for the whole time. Just getting down about to the pattern edge. Stop. I'd like to have a little more. See if this will work. We'll start a new track and see if we'll go backwards into the old one too. Okay, exactly what we wanted. Now we'll come down here. Power is off, of course. We're going to come down here. And we're going to work just like we did before on getting that to propagate back around to the back half. And I think I'll use this trace to do it with. Control of the of the moisture is really important because if you get too much moisture, obviously it can't burn the wood. And not power on fifty. There she goes. Right about. 80% coming down almost to the line branching nicely before it gets to it though I like that a lot that is coming out very nicely I can get it to grow down now it's going to run out of steam before it gets there though okay Power off, we'll re wet and see if we can get her the rest of the way down to the line. Power on, there's 20. And about 50 really kind of going down the wrong trace right now but there we go now the other one's coming up let it burn down spreading back that's working out well a little bit more will be to the halfway point we're going to run out of moisture before we get there though so we'll stop We'll reapply. That can come down a little further without hurting us. Power on. About 20% is all I'm running at right now. Increasing it though up to about 40, 45. Here's about 75. I'd rather it didn't burn all the way up into that time. Whoop. Okay, that one took off on us. But it didn't make it past, nope, didn't make it past the boundary area, so that's great. Power's off. I'm going to reapply our pad. We'll get some moisture down out here to help lead it away. And I think we'll move this probe. Get that wire to kind of sit there and help me out a little bit. See if we can get that to propagate back halfway on the fore end. Power up. About 60%. Gonna watch this one. It's trying to take off on us. 
and we're getting some arcing from the pad. It's not above the, or it's not below the area that I'm worried about though, so I'm going to let it go. Okay, we're going to have to have more moisture. I want that pad down good. Power on, coming up, 20%, 40, and about 60, oh that's running good there, I'd like that bottom one to run a little better, but top one's gone about as far as I can let it go, power off, I'm going to try to get that it's going to be very difficult to get that to do that. Try to get a little angle. Get it to catch. There we go. And that's the reason I use a lot finer electrodes than what a lot you see a lot of guys using for that fine detail to get it to hang in there on an odd shaped object. It's totally different than the flat board that you see most people working with. There we go. That's working nicely. And it is halfway and it is down in the front. Power off. Give you a look now. So as you can tell this is a rather tedious process with the voltages and amperages I'm using. Most of the Lichtenberg figure videos you see there's a lot of flame, a lot of arcing, a lot of zapping and uh, other noise, whereas most of mine is a, a quiet glow. Uh, just different ways to do it. I prefer having the control on a small piece like this where I definitely had areas that I did not want any charring. And I wanted areas that I definitely did want some in, so I, I went the slow, slow go process. So the next step is to do the back half of the forend, and that'll be coming up in our next video. And stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.